Hi, this all began for me as being a fan of fantasy when I was little. I read everything from Tolkien to Dune, and which led to me becoming an avid role player gamer and video gamer, playing everything that I could. Um, it, it begged the question in our little group when we were little, was there a way to combine the novel with the game? I eventually ended up writing my own novel with over, over 15 years of content. This uh, epic fantasy world that I think is based on ancient Egyptian mythology called Rites of Passage. Um, then I saw the technology emerge in, which will allow to combine the two. And I said, why not do that? So I started my company Poet Code in order to, with that in mind, pitch the idea of the book to different publishers who didn't want to do that because they wanted to keep them segmented, keep them apart because each one of them creates their own money flows. But for me, I think it creates greater content to be able to combine them both and put the players at the center of it. So they're interacting with the author, the creators, and the developers here to help be a part of the story and, and be a part of the story. So that's basically what Poe Code is in Dynasty of Magi. So when Derek came to us, uh, we knew right away it was a project we wanted to be involved in. When Derek first came here, the first thing we wanted to do was sit down and, and take his vision for merging an MMO and an ebook into one application, and we wanted to flesh that out and, and you know see what that really looked like. Uh, so we sat down with Justin McClaire, who's our, our lead designer, myself, uh, and Derek, and together with a, a whiteboard and some markers, we, we started making those initial plans for Dynasty of the Magi. Uh, at first, it started off as one world with a few characters, uh, and you know the spells and the melee abilities, which you'll see in the game when it originally launches. But right away, we knew that wasn't enough. We needed to make to make Magi really come alive. We needed more. Uh, so it ended up becoming five worlds, and, and you know ten, you know, uh, non-player characters, a variety of bosses, you know, uh, different classes, and and uh, you know spells and all the melee abilities and augments which, which came in the game at the end. Uh, and you could really start to see what he had in the ebook come alive in the world. Uh, and throughout that development process, uh, you know, we had our challenges, we had our long nights, we had our, uh, you know, work in weekends. But eventually we made it, the game was finished, we were ready to submit, uh, we popped those champagne bottles and, and we got it on the store. And, and when it launches in a few weeks, it'll be the seventh MMO on the App Store, uh, which we think is something we should all be, all be proud of. For the art style in the game, we really wanted to drag the players into the world. It's this great mix because you're wandering familiar places, familiar streets, cities, parks at night where there's almost no people. And while it's a very familiar area, there's creatures wandering around, monsters, gangsters. It's just a place of danger in every shadow and it really brings you in. You never know what's going to jump out at you. For the spells, uh, we wanted the characters to feel very powerful. You know, every little gesture is an explosion of fire or sparks or magic to give people a real sense of, you know, being a dangerous person themselves. Someone who's a match for these giant creatures, someone who can bring them down with their spells and their, uh, and their powers. One of the uh, key design points um, we focused on when building this game was flexibility and scalability. Uh, we wanted to build a system that you know we could create now and launch, but then two books later, and after getting all the feedback and figuring out how people use the game, uh, we can make it ten times larger with you know hundreds of more quests and lots more interactions and things to do. Where we would like to take the game now, now that we have uh, people adventuring together, destroying monsters, and doing quests together, is we'd like to you know do even more, expand the world, expand the monsters. People uh, can't get enough of like combining different spells, making their own combinations, and we just want to keep doing more and more of that. We want to show you what's around the next corner. We want to show you the next big monster that you're going to see, the next big creature that uh, the characters face in the book is the one you're going to see walking down the street. Uh, what we're looking for now is help because we knew that when we did this original development, version 1.0, you know, that wasn't the end of the story. That was just the framework. So what we have now is a very robust framework, but we need more. You know, we need more worlds, we need more quests, we need more spells, um, and to do that, that's why we're coming to Kickstarter. Uh, you know, with your help, we're hoping we can take Magi to the next level.